is longing for you to become beautiful. Jesus longs for your life to be developed to its maximum. But there's only three things you must do in order to make sure that you will never walk away from Jesus. What is it? First, live your life with Jesus. Second, live your life for God. And third, live your life to love everyone around you. I'm going to invite Kim and Mary to come and, and sing and play for us a special item. I want you to meditate on your life. I want you to meditate on those around you. Because at the end, I'm just going to ask you to, to stand up asking Jesus to make these three principles a reality in your life. You cannot, friends, make them a reality. But Jesus can create in you the desire and give you the power to fulfill these three principles so that when he comes, you will be standing there for him and saying, Dear Lord, I have waited for you and you have come to take me home. Listen to the song while I pray. Trust in Jesus just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the same. desire to say to the Lord, Lord, I want to live with Jesus. I want to live for God. And I want to live to, lo to love others. Tonight I'm not going to ask you to promise to the Lord that you will do these three things. But I'm going to ask you, if it is your desire to say to the Lord, Lord, I want you to make this a reality in my life. If that is your desire, why don't you come forward so that we can pray together and ask the Lord to create these three principles in our hearts and make them a reality so that we will never leave him. We will not forsake him. And when he comes, we will be ready, waiting for him when Jesus returns. Come forward. Don't be, don't be afraid. Just tell the Lord, Lord Jesus, come, make it a reality in my life. 
I give you all full authority to make it a reality, to make me a Christian that will love everyone, to make me a Christian that will love God above all things, and to make me a Christian that will be passionate about Jesus Christ. That's what life is all about, dear friends. And let me tell you, you will never regret, never, throughout eternity to regret, you will never regret the decision you're making tonight. If your life has been turned beautiful by Jesus during the past two weeks, praise Him. Raise your voice in, um, in, in voice of adoration for, uh, for God and Jesus. Let everyone know that there is a true God that lives and loves and that He longs to transform lives. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, tonight we come to your presence thanking you, Lord, for the invitation you give us to live with Jesus and to live just for you and to live to love everyone around us. In the name of Christ, dear Father, we stand before your presence in contrition, in realization, dear Lord, that we have not done this and in a realization that it's not possible for us to do it. But we come to your throne, dear Father, and, and like slaves we throw ourselves at your feet, at your mercy. And we plead, dear Lord, make these promises a reality. Let, Lord, your marvelous love be manifested toward us in creating in our hearts a passion for Jesus, in leading our life to believe just for you, and, dear Father, in creating in us a deep love for our human fellows, fellow man. Lord, I pray tonight that you will transform every life here and make it a life, Lord, that will be beautiful, a life that will be filled with fruits, a life, dear Lord, that will be lived for your own and glory. And I want to thank you, dear Father, because I will have the joy of seeing every person here when Jesus returns, standing in joy, welcoming you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord, for giving us that beautiful guarantee that if we remain in Christ, our salvation is assured. In Jesus' precious name, amen.